Hi, it's Jane here from Croft with jane.co.uk and today I'm bringing you this gorgeous little gift bag. It is a fold flat gift bag and I've used the fantastic new um, like an animal designer series paper and it's this one it's got gold and silver accents um, on white and then it's got coloured on the other side card um, and it's all to do with animal prints and I just think this looked so luxe is that the right word sort of it looked a bit more grown up than some of the other projects that um, I may do um, and I just love it so I will open it up to show you so I've made a little tag as well then. It's got cherished friend on it, which I thought was quite sweet. So if I open it up like this, you do need to, I'll pull through this ribbon just to show you. And then it does actually fold flat. So um, you could make a load up, store them like this. And then when you came to uh, make them up, then you just have to pull the ribbon through. Um, and decorate them as you like and I have used uh, the beautiful stamp set called Lovely You and I've picked Cherish Friends um, and you can see the colour inside has got this like um, sort of uh, I guess it's like a snake print is it and it's got the brown and the cream colours in there the stone colours so I've used the um, brown ink to uh, which is called Early Espresso as well and I've used the cardstock there so it's sort of all of it all coordinates so I'll uh, get on with the project for you. So this is my designer series paper and this measures 10 inches by 10 inches. And this has got the uh, beautiful silver and white. And on the other side, it's got um, some greys and blacks. And it sort of represents, I'm guessing a zebra print, um, but it looks lovely. So I will uh, score this at four inches and six inches. And then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to score it at two and a half and seven and a half. And that is all the scoring. There is no cutting with this, so it's great. So I'm just going to get my bone folder out and I'm just now going to burnish. So there's a little bit of additional burnishing with this, which you need to do, which I'll show you in just a second. So first of all, you need to get all your lines in and then, okay. So I'm gonna put these into the middle here. So the bag will eventually fold up like this. Um, but to create the inner pouch, I now have to manipulate these sides just here. So how I do that is that I bring this uh, corner here to here. So I'm going to create uh, a point, if I can, just in there. And I'm going to just, can you see how I've done that? So I've created a lovely straight flush line there. And I'm going to then use my bone folder to burnish just a crease inside there. And I'm going to need that to do that on all four. So I'll do this side as well. So I'm going to bring these two together so I get a lovely, nice, peak and line just like that and then I will put it down and use my bone folder to burnish inside and then when I bring these up together you can see that we have that lovely flush there we are going to actually bend this in as well so I'll show you how I do that and you can do it now it's not a problem so I just bring these two corners here together and I squish like that so I'm just folding this center section and I squish it just like that and that's creating like the little W W just that way that I'm requiring so that when I bring it together you have that sort of an edge the side to it and then I'm going to repeat the process on this one so I'm going to bring this corner over here just like this it's just a gentle sort of manipulation of the paper just like that and then I'm going to sit it down and then I will use my bone folder to crease and then you just need to repeat it on the other side basically so you're going to bring this corner over just like we have with the others and then press it down and use my bone folder, just get my bone folder in there. 
hand. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same with this middle section. Just bring these two corners over like this and then squish in the middle just there. Lovely. So we've got that pattern. You can see it sort of does that, that and that and that on both sides. And then I'm going to glue. Now I'm only going to glue in this triangle here and here because I need the middle part to be free and to be open. I'm actually going to use Stamp and Seal Plus, but it's very much up to you what choice of glue you prefer to use. I'll do one side at a time for you. So you can just sort of see where we're at. And then I'm literally just going to fold it over like this. And then when I bring that up, you will see. I love this clutch sort of style fold flat bag. It's so perfect. And then I'm going to glue the other side. Same sort of process. Just that. The gluing has no rhyme or reason. I'm just sort of going roughly around the edges. And then I'll do exactly the same. I'm just going to fold this over and press it down. That's perfect. And then when I bring it up and squish it together, you'll see that I've made the basics of the bag just there. And I'm going to create the flap of the gift bag and I'm going to use some grey granite um, cardstock because that matches some of the colour on the inside of the bag that I'm making. And I've got a four and a half by four and I'm just going to score it down the two inch on the four side, so on the shorter side. And before I... Um, uh, burnish it I'm going to actually get out the trio the best trio punch and I'm going to use this corner piece to do all four sides there we go get four cute little triangles with it you could use on a different project and now I'll get my bone folder out and I will burnish and then I'm going to put some of my Stamp and Seal Plus on the inside of just one half of the bag flap because I'm only sticking down one half. There we go. So I do want it to stick well, so I've covered it relatively well. I'm now going to get out my bag in its flat state and I'm going to work this side first. So I'm going to put it approximately there and I'm going to sort of center it up as best I can. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to make sure I keep the school line as best as I can. And I'll just simply fold it over and press it down. Okay. And now when I bring the bag back up together, hopefully it looks okay. There you go, that looks fine, doesn't it? So next, I'm gonna make sure I pinch these close and hold them, and then I'm gonna turn it around like that, and I'm gonna use my crocodile uh, to uh, make two little hole punches, just be absolutely certain. There you go. So I'm gonna just go in um, about half a centimeter hole punch, and then I'll do exactly the same the other side, about half a centimeter and hole punch. They don't have to be exact. You can make pencil marks if you want to, um, but I've not really had any problem with them not being looking okay. Right, next, I'm gonna get out my ribbon. So I did use the beautiful gold ribbon last time because it matched the gold. Uh, this time I'm gonna use this gorgeous uh, grey granite ribbon uh, and then I'm gonna pop them through the holes. So I'll just make sure my bag lines up, pop them through, and then I'll tie a nice bow and put my little tag on. So I've got there, that's great. So I'll pull them through as neatly as I can, make sure that the back looks straight, which it does. And then, is that enough? It's probably not, I need to pull a little bit more through. So just there. And then I'll just do one tie to start with, like that. Oh, it's starting to curl. There we go. So, I'll do one tie to start with, like this, 
and then I have my tag. I've already stamped my sentiment, and as I mentioned earlier, this is from the lovely You stamp set, and it's in the annual catalogue, and I've used Cherished Friend. I have used my black ink for this, and then I have used the amazing uh, tags uh, dies, and I've used this angled one here, because I felt like it matched the angles on here. So I will pop that on, but I'm gonna actually trim, I'm gonna actually, do what I don't normally do and cut this off because I want the tag going that way. I don't know why, it's a preference of mine. So yeah, a bit of an odd one, I know. So I'll pop that through here. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do my bow on camera. So I'm gonna be all fingers and thumbs while I do this. So apologies. There we go. That wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And then I'm just going to gently center it up a little bit so I'll just pull a little bit of that through like so there we go and move that that way lovely and then just make it a bit tidier and then I might trim it a little bit so that we don't have these huge tails so I'll trim it like that and do the same on this side about here so that is uh, the bag completed and you can see uh, it's a lovely little size bag. You can size it up to a 12 by 12 if you wanted to, but I um, think that I'll probably use this to maybe wrap some jewellery or some makeup in. So I'll use some uh, probably white uh, paper, uh, tissue paper inside to just wrap up a few little gifts and then I think that'll store that quite nicely. I am going to decorate this. Now, there are some beautiful um, adhesive back milky dots. Oh, I just, I'm loving them. I don't know what it is about them. I have used, I've only had them days and I've used them quite a few times. So um, I could, to be honest with you, you could use the pink or the clear, but I think I'm gonna use the clear for this one because I've already really tucked into the pink here. It's like an opal -y kind of color, it's beautiful. And I think I'll pop that like that. I could leave one there, but I've got this real thing about putting two cute dots near each other. Let's see how this works. And then I quite like that. So I think, I think that, is my finished my finished cute little faux flat gift bags and i'll get the other one out to show you so these are my completed faux flat gift bags using the like an animal designer series paper and i do love this paper so much um, these are the 10 by 10 versions you can pare it down to like a six by six or a five by five i suppose if you put it down to a five by five you could just half the measurements or you can make it up to a 12 by 12 so you can you can make them different sizes i love the way that i could store them flat if i wanted to so i could make up a whole batch of them and just store them really flat and that would be really handy um, i love the look of them this one's lovely and vibrant and bright but this one's got that sort of luxe feel that you get in those um big brands I think with the muted just two-tone colours um, but yeah I, I'm really happy with them and I like them both and I really hope you like them as well um, if you're interested in purchasing any of the products I've used today or any stamping up products within uh, the catalogues and on the uh, website please do follow the links below to shop with me if you don't already have a demonstrator um, I can be your demonstrator if you're in any of the countries in Europe um, so do consider it um, I would be honoured I do send out thank you gifts and if you use my host code my current one's always on the website um if you use that as well i send you extra gifts uh, so yeah and um i am uh, definitely have uh, increased my subscribers now i'm uh, i think i'm uh, i'm definitely over 700 i'm trying desperately to get to a thousand um so i would love it if you subscribed and if you are enjoying my videos please please subscribe um and do like and comment i definitely do answer okay i'm gonna say bye for now guys and happy crafting